next video we will see the fundamental differences between OBIE and Tableau. So these are the differences that I have come across uh, while I am working with the both the tools. Uh, so some of the differences may not be included in this one. So please feel free to give the differences uh, whatever you have found in the comments so that I'll I'll keep on updating the video. So uh, let's move on to the differences between these two tools. OBI is primarily like uh, it is a reporting tool and which is uh, which is also called as business intelligence reporting tool wherein we'll be using uh, this tool to make the decisions and wh when it comes to tableau tableau is like uh, it's purely data vis visualization tool so though OBA has data visualization to, uh, views, uh, but it's not uh, up to the standards where the customers is ex expecting. Uh, in Tableau, in Tableau, we have uh, various number of uh, data visualization views that are available, and it's trending in the market uh, as of today. OBA cost is pretty high, but uh, the price of the OBI is standard across all the enterprises uh, but uh, because OBI uh, when Oracle provides license it, it provides license uh, mostly based on the tool not based on the how many users are using the system uh, when it comes to Tableau, Tableau cost is mainly based on the user per user, per user cost basis. So that is why the cost of the Tableau is very for, less for smaller enterprises and uh, ha very high, even more than high uh, as Oracle in uh, for larger enterprises in Tableau. OBE has, supports a robust model by using the RPD concept uh, wherein you can configure the data model, entire your data warehousing model in a single uh, RPD file and and it also can handle huge volume of data whereas Tableau has some limitations uh, to it uh, uh, the, like it can't handle more than certain number of tables and, and columns and mostly Tableau will be used for the visualization uh, uh, information so for the visualization views uh, user may not be requiring more number of rows so that may be an added advantage for the Tableau so as we discussed, uh, OBA has less visualizations compared to Tableau, but it still has some visualizations. In Tableau, the biggest advantage is, is uh, you know, advantage is that uh, it has more visualization capability. So OBA is well suited for medium and larger enterprises, and uh, Tableau is suited for small and medium enterprises. And uh, one more thing we have observed uh, uh, while comparing these two tools is uh, uh, when the business uh, wants to show some uh, reports to the end, uh, higher level management, mostly the POC will be done by using the Tableau and once it is agreed, uh, uh, agreed for all the sectors inside the uh, company, uh, let's say some finance or ACM and let's say once you got to know all these uh, bits and pieces of uh, individual uh, departments so we'll give uh, POC for each and every department by using the Tableau uh, tool and once it's done then uh, we'll create an enterprise reporting solution by using OBIE that's what I have seen one of the major difference between these two tools so that's what uh, the uh, next point uh, uh, is about finalized BA solution will be implemented in OBAE uh, in Tableau mostly it will be used for POC for reporting solution it's not only meant for POC but it's it, you can create uh, enterprise level Tableau des uh, dashboard and mashup and excel uh, uh, mashup with excel and other tools is uh, limited and extra license to be purchased so this is something like uh, we need to buy a separate license in OBAE. Uh, in Tableau it's provided by default. 
so end user should be educated uh, to use the OBI tool a little bit uh, Tableau it will be very easy for for any of the software professional to get get on with the uh, Tableau reporting tool so OBI as we discussed it has uh, it has RPD modeling wherein they have uh, uh, three layers of data that can be ha metadata that can be handled like physical layer uh, business layer and presentation layer wherein in Tableau it's completely different and uh, that is why the challenge uh, challenge will be if there are more, more than 25 tables or more than 16 columns for each table then uh, it will be difficult to configure the Tableau so one more bigger advantage with the OBA is that uh, Oracle has already uh, defined some of the BI solution, uh, some of the pre-built reports for uh, many sectors like retail, finance, and uh, SEM. So there are many predefined uh, reports that are developed for the each of the uh, each organizations. So which will be called as BA apps. So where, when it comes to Tableau, like we mostly need to develop from scratch. So maybe going forward, uh, Tableau will be providing for each and every sector uh, some default dashboard and configuration related to ETL as well. So that we we will have to wait for it. And BA Publisher is one more tool uh, which we which can be used to create uh, pixel perfect reports like uh, purchase order report or uh, inventory report inventory report shipment report these are the things like that you will be using uh, these reports to print and uh, send it to the uh, send it send it to the other people such as uh, managers and all. Uh, in Tableau, we don't have uh, such tool available. So these are the primary difference, fundamental differences that I have seen in OBA in Tableau. Please feel free to comment uh, the differences whichever you have found in your experience.